Russ. I'm Emily. And today we're going to do something that probably all of us have done at least one time in our life, and that is watercolor. Except we're going to do it a different way. Because of course we are. <laughs> uh, as with our other videos where we take a pretty traditional art style and art medium, uh, we like to do them in a really weird and confusing way. So why mess with tradition? We'll just keep that rolling. And we're going to do watercolor with this fun sport gun. It has a cute little duck face on it. So we're going to take a white canvas, draw our design with a white crayon, mm -hmm. and then we will spray it with various colors and various ducks. And hopefully uh, we'll have a really cool watercolor painting when we're done. Hopefully. Hopefully. We did practice this time, so we have that going for us. And I'm ready if you're ready. I'm never ready, but we can do it anyway. Let's do it. Blue skidoo. <laughs> I'm going to do a surprise reveal. So I don't want anybody to see what I'm doing. Nothing. Including you. So rude. All right. Well, while Russ is in the other room working on his drawing, I'm going to get started on mine here, but since it's white crayon on a white canvas, it's probably not going to be too exciting for you to watch. So I will meet you back here when I'm done. Alright, well I'm done. What do you think? Looks good, huh? Um, I decided to pretty much swing it as I do with most things in my life. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a surprise for you, it's going to be a surprise for us, and it's even going to be a surprise for me. So uh, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Now if you're a novice like me, you would not have thought about using this to melt the wax into the canvas. This is going to bring out all the colors. That you know, go over it and really make whatever you've drawn stand out. I hope you can't see what's on there, uh, but if you do, at least it'll be a surprise for all of us if it actually turns out. So, gotta turn this on. Get it on high for the high heat. Oh yeah. Cool. All right, we're all set up. It's a little windy, a little weathery, but we're still gonna do it. For you. For you. Because we are professionals, sort of. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to start with yellow. I think that makes sense, because it's a lighter color. Off to a great start. What color are you going to use? Uh, I'm going to start with this kind of gray concoction that I made. Hopefully it will turn out and we'll see how my picture does. Flat of ground? Oh, that's cool. Uh, call it good, I guess. Call it good? I don't know. You hopefully want to level it out? Some of those colors. Hopefully. You know, and maybe it needs um, to dry and then go over it with 
a second round of color to really saturate it. You might be right. That might. All right. Well, we did it. We did it. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet how it turned out. I guess we'll figure it out. Determined. Yeah. Okay. Well, you may be looking at us and uh, noticing that something happened, and you probably feel like you missed something, and that is because you did. You did. We had a fun ending for you, but our card was full, and we realized too late. So we missed all of it. Um, but because we are dedicated to you, we are gonna reenact it and get the money shot. The money shot. Uh, so really, no need for a build up here. That's what she said. Should we duel? Ooh, turn it back three paces. Oh, all right. Okay. You can't go that far. So we'll stay in frame. So. Okay. In this way? Yeah. Alright, three paces, turn three and paces. shoot. Yep. One, One two, <laughs> three. Ugh. Good shooting, Tess. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. I have paint in so many places. Alright. Uh, we'll meet you inside. You're welcome for that. All right, that concludes our watercoloring with squirt melons. Um, it was fun, it was interesting, and uh, yeah, you thought it was fun, right? I mean, it was... Yeah, I'm gonna be blue for a week. Yeah, it's, it's pretty on brand for us to be covered in paint by the end of these things, but this is food coloring, so it's gonna last a while. But we did learn some cool things like how to adhere our wax properly to the canvas so our image popped. And that worked pretty okay. Um, yeah, that part actually did work pretty well. And I was pretty surprised to see that my image actually came out because I did that blind, basically. Um, we just need to work on getting color to stay as well. That was the problem that we ran into. Yeah. Uh, so maybe next time we can use more concentrated color or go over it a second time or even try on a different um, fabric that absorbs better. That's another option. Yeah. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this, uh, give us a like. If you want to see more weird things that we do, uh, subscribe to our channel. If you want to see our real artwork, go to our Instagram page at Dead Raven Oddities. And lastly, if you would like to buy a print of this or any of our real artwork, uh, go to our Society6 page at society6.com slash Dead Raven Oddities. All right, well, as always, thank you for watching this uh, catastrophe unfold with us. We appreciate you being here. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, hopefully next time will be maybe less messy. Or not. Probably not, though. But we'll catch you there. Bye, guys.